got hit by a freaking landslide. <laughs> well, this is what driving along the outskirts of a hurricane looks like. Everything just fits. All right, we're ready for our road trip. So first we're driving up to San Cristobal. It's about a seven hour drive from here. It's, there's a hurricane up north. So the weather's a little bit overcast and rainy, but if the rain holds off, it should be kind of nice driving weather. And we've got more than everything we need. Did you come to say goodbye to us? Did you come to say goodbye or do you just want me to feed you? You just want me to feed you. Don't hop in there. We can't take you. You have to stay here. We left Tapatula and began our drive to San Cristobal de las Casas by the coastal route. We drove along the base of the Sierra Madre de Chiapas mountain range until we reached the town of Ariaga. Well, this is what driving along the outskirts of a hurricane looks like. Hurricane Agatha took a rare course, making landfall in southern Mexico. It's the strongest hurricane to make landfall in the month of May since records began. While it made us feel a little better about our decision to leave Chuft in Puerto Madero, it did make for an interesting drive. Time for some Sebastian Before makeup. would you really dive into the history cloudy landscape up here. And this is how Jim uses the windscreen wiper the whole time. Watch what happens. Oh no. The inland route involves passing through the Sierra Madre Mountains into a central depression through the city of Tuxla and then back up into the central highlands. It's only a 430 kilometre journey from Tapachula to San Cristobal, but it does take around eight hours in these conditions. It just got really dark, so I think we're like in the cloud, but it is literally midday, so. Yeah. Well, since we can't go anywhere without a disaster, we just got hit by a freaking landslide. Everything seems to be okay. Yeah, it wasn't a very big one, but it really scared me. We had to go over some rocks. Oh, and we didn't chip the windscreen either, which is good. We really maybe should just like never go anywhere. But anyway, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> well, all in all, Van Rico, where what were you thinking? Oh yeah, some scratches and some and then this been like a bit dented. Panel got knocked in and then scratches there. But he's come away pretty unscathed from the landslide. 
<laughs> you were kind of in it. <laughs> well, we've reached Tuxla. It's getting cold. Um, and we only have like two hours to go until we're at St. Christopher. Alright, we're just going through downtown Tuxla. It's kind of like, it feels like a bigger version of Tapatula for the most part. Red and black commerce. And as a byproduct, it was a place where oh, he's going to juggle as well. Religious ideas De las Casas. It's cold, we're like drowned little rats right now because it's been raining. The rain I think just stopped, go figure. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a quick warm shower and then maybe go walk around a little. captured a kitten she is a oh, sorry this is the boy is a rescue here at Pancho's medical pet center where we are doing a free clinic day today Pancho's medical pet center offers low cost and free veterinary services to the community of San Cristobal de las Casas this clinic day was to offer free consultations and treatments to pets and their owners while allowing Miguel and his staff to concentrate on spay and neuters this wasn't our first time working with Miguel. We previously visited them at their old center. You can check out that video in this link above. <laughs> this little puppy had just been adopted the day before the clinic. She needed her first vaccinations and worming, but also had a little eye discharge. We applied a special stain to see if there was any ulcers on her eyes. Thankfully, it was just some conjunctivitis and we expect within a few days, the ointment should clear it all up. We were kept very busy. The clinic had spread the word that Vet Tales was coming in and we even had the local news turn up for an interview. We saw a lot of skin disease on our clinic day, but this dog had a particularly bad condition that wasn't responding to previous veterinary treatments. We took a sample to examine it under the microscope and found that she had a mite infection as well as a bacterial ear infection. We wrote out a script for special ear medication and started her on mite treatments, as well as something to reduce the itching and inflammation, hopefully making her more comfortable. She has follow-up appointments at the medical pet centre to ensure that her condition continues to improve. This little guy is a Sholo, a dog breed native to Mexico. Uh, 
The dogs kept coming and we kept diagnosing. One of the great parts about working with a local clinic is having access to important diagnostic tools. This puppy had bloody diarrhea and so we ran a very important test to check for parvovirus, giardia and canine coronavirus. Thankfully she did not have parvovirus, but did have Giardia, so we got her on treatment to clear it up right away. After 8 hours of consulting, we saw our very last patient for the day. All of our patients have follow up with Miguel and his team to ensure they continue to improve in our absence. We'd like to say a huge thank you to our patrons and donators who made this clinic day possible. Without them, we wouldn't be able to deliver these life-changing treatments. Next episode, we show you more of San Cristobal de las Casas and head out to a local rescue centre, Dame Onapata. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and share our videos with your friends. Until next time, stay chuffed, everybody.